If you're learning SQL, you need to know these three ways to use the concatenate function. If you don't know about the concat or concatenate function, it basically allows you to join two or more string fields to make one new column. So let's get into it. All right, so the first use case of the concatenate function is to combine column values. So imagine you have a table like the one in front of you. We've got a column for first name, you have another column for a last name, but you want to return a single column just called full name. That is a combination of the last name and first name columns. So to do that, we're going to add a new column and we'll call it concat function. And then we'll put last name, comma, single quote, comma, space, another single quote, another comma, first name. And we'll call this full name. Let's run that. As you can see, now we have a new column called full name. That's a combination of the last name, comma, and a space, Donald. And you can mess around with the separator. Uh, if you don't want a space after the comma, you can just delete that. If you don't want a comma at all, you could just delete everything in between and have last name, comma, first name, right? But that's usually not what you'll want to see. So my preferred way is to do comma space. Another fun use case of the concatenate function is to add static text to existing columns. So you have your first name column here. And let's say these were TikTok usernames. You downloaded all your favorite TikTokers and you want a list of all the URLs. So we'll just add a comma and we're gonna add the concatenate function and we're going to start with a single quote because we'll be basically adding a prefix to all these first names. So I'm going to type in the TikTok URL, which is basically just tiktok.com slash at. So make sure that's between single quotes. And I'll do a comma, then a first name, and we'll call this TikTok URL. We'll run that. And now, as you can see, we have a whole list of TikTok usernames ready to go. Another good use case of the concatenate function is to handle null values. So in this table we're looking at, we actually have a list of allergies for a hospital patient. And a lot of them say null, which is good. They don't have any allergies, right? But I don't want it to say null. I want it to say none. So to do that, I'm going to add a comma. I'll do the concatenate function. And first I'm going to add an empty string. So just two single quotes. And then I'm going to use a different SQL function called if null. So if null, it requires two arguments. One is the column to check. So it's going to check if this allergies column is null. So if that says null, then you have to put in what should it return. It's going to put in none. And I'll call this allergies fixed or something like that. And let's run that. And it gave me an error because I forgot a parenthesis here. So we'll run that again. And as you can see, where there was a null before, now it says none. Where the row wasn't null, it still says what it said before. And that's it for the video. Let me know if you have any questions and follow me for more data content.